screen is kind of like a celebration of women's contributions to hip culture internationally and I kind of wanted to go to an event that kind of looked at that angle and I couldn't find anything so I thought let me just create something and see what happens. Women pay a huge contribution to hip culture and it often goes unrecognised so I thought it to highlight that fact that you know women you know globally only have three films it's not a huge global thing but I'm going to show across the globe anyway that, you know girls are out there doing their thing and contributing to this art form that in some cases should I add not all the time often goes unrecognised or maybe I don't know nobody cares but it's just not highlighted enough perhaps and to note that women they have to define their gender first and it's because because they've always existed as an outsider as on the fringes it's the only way for them to have an identity with hip hop culture and I don't think that's right I think a girl should be able to say she should have the choice I'm an MC or I'm a female MC or MC or however she wants to use that term it's about the equality angle as well like I don't think as I go back to my point men don't categorise their gender as a female MC but when we do it's because we exist outside you know the dominant because it is mainly a male dominated scene and I can't wait for the day where I don't read someone's profile of female MC. I can't wait to see that because you look at loads of rappers and they, they like I said, they genderise their role and it's because it's not that they consciously do, it's because they're so used to existing outside. It, it manifests itself in how they talk about themselves and how they write about themselves. Women naturally form community, it's like what we do, it's like how we raise children, we form communities and we raise them together. So if we if people with our community are a child, I mean we naturally should manifest ourselves together to to make links to each other and not be very insular and just sitting in that little bubble. I think it's really important that we reach out to places in I don't know, New York or Paris or Berlin or even in the UK itself and have that have more connections going on. That's the only way I think that men will see, oh my gosh, these chicks are working together and they're creating something. When people start seeing that you can't be ignored. The original is probably the first album. Like, it's probably the first hip hop song I actually recognised was actually hip hop, and that was with Do Up That Thing. And my tonight year girl has been part of my consciousness growing up, and I just think she's amazing. She's very strong. I try and pay homage to her and her as much as possible, just because I find her very inspirational and so directional. She was like doing something that not even men were doing at the time. She was just so ahead of the curve. It was crazy. Little Kim. Ladies Night. She had Aunt Angie Martinez, she had TLC, she had Missy Ellis, she had Estelle, she had their girls on that and I remember like, yeah, this is a, like, I loved it and then my other second favourite song is Missy Ellis and Little Kim and The Brat and Suck It To Me just because that video is so, and I watch that video now, I'm like, that is a great video and I, I love um, The Brat's piece, I love The Brat's like, personally, I think she smacked it and I just love that song.